Welcome back makers. Today I've got my hands on this awesome beast, the DF Robot Devastator Tank. We recently got a chance to collaborate with DF Robot and they sent us this mobile robot kit. It's powered by Metal DC Gear motors and built to work with Arduino or similar boards. The frame is made from strong aluminum alloy and it even has a suspension system, perfect for handling rough terrain like a champ. With tons of mounting holes, you can add sensors, cameras, arms or even wireless gears, making it great for exploring, dipping or even outdoor monitoring. Today we are going to test it on different terrains and see what this tank can really do. But first, let's unbox and build it. Alright, let's begin by finding this part right here. The manual calls it A3, but I like to call it the damper. Because it works like a mini suspension for our robot. We'll need 6 of these, 3 for each side. Next up, we have the A1 parts. I like to call these the wheel holders. They'll keep the wheels in place. You can spot them by the numbers 2 and 3 printed on them. Now for the front wheels, we'll use a special part marked 1 1. Let's name it the nose holder. It'll hold the front wheel steady with the help of another part called A4 in the manual. Let's call that one the arm link. And just like that, we've got all our plastic body parts ready. Now it's time to snap them together and start building. Next, we need the metal side plate. The manual calls it B4, but let's name it the left armor. This part will form the left side of our robot. To find it, look for a tiny triangle shape and some nuts already attached to it. Once you've got the left armor in place, let's attach the dampers and wheel holders. For this, we'll use the 16mm Phillips screws along with the lock nuts to keep everything tight and secure. Next, it's time to add some power. Attach the DC motor using the 6mm screws and then side in the metal D shaft. Now for the wheel, use the self-tapping screws to fix the wheel onto the wheel holders. And just like that, your left armor is complete. Now repeat the same steps to build the right armor. Both sides are exactly the same, so it's a copy paste job. Once both sides are ready, it's time to finish the look. Attach the tank threads around the wheels. Now it's starting to look like a real tank. 
Let's move to the base plate now. This is where all the electronics will go. I'm using a motor driver shield on top of an Arduino to control the motors. For wireless control, I've added an RC receiver. And for the power, I've used a 7.4V lithium-ion battery stuck down with Velcro tape. This makes swapping batteries super easy. I've also added a 12V red color LED strip on the bottom side of this plate to light up the base of my robot. On the top plate, I've added a cool sticker because why not, right? Gotta make our robot look awesome. Along with that, I've added a rocker switch and a DC jack to manage the power. And check this out. I've also mounted a tiny DC fan which helps keep the motor driver chip cool when things heat up during action. Now, it's time for the best part, assembling everything together. Let's bring the left armor, right armor, base plate and top plate all into one powerful robot. So overall, the Devastator tank is a great pick for beginners, especially if you want to build robots with cameras, robotic arms or other cool add-ons. Now the pros. The shock absorbers work really well, giving you smooth movement across rough terrains. The metal body is super strong and can even handle lifting small weights. Very solid build. But there are a couple of cons. Even though there are tons of mounting holes, there is no direct support for Arduino Uno. You'll need to find a custom way to mount it. Also, the manual is a bit outdated and confusing, so first-timers might struggle. But hey, that's why we made this video. Follow along and you'll be just fine. In the end, I'd give this kit a solid 4 out of 5 stars. If you found this helpful, leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. And let us know in the comments what should we try next with this robot. Until then, stay safe and keep making.